who is Dr. Tweed? Dr. Tweed is that short guy with the balding hair that uh, is in an office right next door to mine. He never leaves me alone. Dr. Tweed is a steadfast presence in our clinic. He is there whenever there's a problem and he is calm. I love his calm approach and the way he really takes a, a, a very broad perspective and then focuses in. He's been a, you know, a real hero to me. David is just a great guy. He's remained so humble and down to earth in spite of all his, his scientific uh, achievements that um, you know, he's just a great guy to party with. Hey, party on, Dave. Everybody really loves him because he's very kind to them and he doesn't judge them. When I had given too many steroids when I was an intern, he said, Dr. Dowers, while I've always taught you that no animal should die without the benefit of steroids, we shouldn't kill them with steroids either. I'll never forget that. I'm not sure he had to say that to anybody else, maybe just to me. I think of a very kind, and gentle person, very wise man. Literally a very gentle, giving, smart, funny, and nice guy. Experienced, intelligent, and always willing to help, fun to work with and be around. So I was boarded in 1978, uh, specialty of small animal internal medicine. When I entered my residency, my goal was just to become a, a good small animal internist. Once I was there, I learned about um, the ACBIM and specialty certification. And after I finished my residency, I thought that was the next step to continue on. Hopefully I've contributed some things as far as internal medicine in the areas probably of gastroenterology, hepatology. Um, also I think I hopefully have made an impact in training individuals in the specialty and being able to watch a person come into a residency training program and then leave with board certification is very, very rewarding. There are literally individuals all over the world who because of David Tweet are capable of making diagnoses on minimally invasive techniques that have helped numerous dogs and cats. Everything from his contribution to endoscopy, laparoscopy, GI disease, liver, um, he has really been the father of all of, of what we understand about some of these things. Well, I hope I see as my legacy that I was a good vet that I trained a bunch of good people and that they will go on to train other people and become even better veterinarians. Receiving this award has to be one of the greatest honors in my veterinary career. The ACVIM has always been very, very important to me. Getting this award just is sort of the highlight of my career in veterinary medicine and involvement with the ACVIM. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations on this award. Congratulations, I'm really proud and impressed of you that I always have been. I think it's about time you get recognized for all your hard work and service and being the quiet, steady guy behind the scenes, always doing your best. Dr. Tweet, congratulations. Nobody that I can think of has earned this uh, more than you have. So you deserve um, this award and many more, so congratulations. You're a wonderful person and very much deserving of this award. And I know that you have a lot more to offer us in the future. I look forward to that. I look forward to working with you. Congratulations, Dr. Tweet. Congratulations so very much, Tweet.